Can't run drop coverage on a pick and pop ever. Okay, look at that. You're just giving up. I mean, it's just too easy. All right, so let's take a look. This is such an easy ball screen to hedge. Oh, my God. Okay, look. All right, as soon as this player comes off the screen, I'm hedging. Why? Because the sideline's right there. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to be in like a flash of a second, okay, I can recover back here. In the meantime, I need backside help right here, okay? But again, I'm going to be able to bump you back so quickly it's not going to matter. But instead, you're running drop coverage and expecting him to drop and get to the three-point line, and that just isn't happening. Can't run drop coverage with Chris Paul. This is literally his forte right here. All right, I mean, net barely even moved. All right, so again, get up and hedge. Push Chris Paul out this way. Okay, first of all, where's this player going? The backside help is right here. Okay, but the second Chris Paul hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off this big's hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can bump you back, which is going to be quickly. But instead, nope, you're going to give Chris Paul exactly what he's great at. Again, with the drop coverage, first of all, again, look at how easy this is to hedge. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to be, again, in less than a second because the sideline's right there, I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help for like a second or less because I'm going to be able to bump you back. But in, again, instead, again, you're running drop coverage on a pick and pop, and Aiton's wide open for a jumper. It's absurd to run drop coverage on this first ball screen. This first ball screen, you just need to get up, jam the screener, show your hands, and go under, and then you're fine, okay? But instead, you're running drop coverage, and now Chris Paul is going to get just blow by that big, and it's an easy two. Just have to stop with the drop coverage. It doesn't work. Look, you're just giving Devin Booker a wide-open jumper, okay? So please get out of this, all right? Look at this. Hedge. Get Devin Booker out of here. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, which is just pushing him further away from the play, I can recover. In the meantime, backside help comes from right here. This player occupies these Suns players two passes away. But again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But instead, you're just going to give Devin Booker a wide-open jumper. Where are you getting beat with DeAndre Ayton here? Stop. Angle your body this way. There's no place for him to go. You're going to let him get beat away from any gap help. It's right to the rim and a two-shot foul. All right, so you're going under this screen. All right, fine. But stop, stop, stop. So the dribble's picked up right here. Okay, so this player just needs to get out here. There's nothing else to do but get out here. The dribble's picked up. There's nothing for you to do. Okay, you don't need to be in the gaps or protecting the rim. Out to your man. But look, this player's just going to stay here. And wide open jumper. Okay, again, you're in drop coverage. And look at this. This big's going to leave early. So now this player just has the baseline. Now everyone's got to collapse under the rim. And it's going to lead to a wide open DeAndre Ayton little jump shot. So again, this is such an easy ball screen to hedge. Look at this. All right, I'm hedging right now. Look at this. Look how close to the sideline. The second the ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, I can recover. In the meantime, of course, I need backside help right here, but this player can easily occupy these Suns players two passes away. And again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But instead, you're giving up baseline. The big leaves too soon anyways. That forces a big everyone to collapse at the rim, and Aiden's open again. This player is going under the screen. You got to give him space. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, right now you got to take a step back and let this player through if he's going underneath. If you don't get take, give him any space, look, you end up kind of screening him yourself. So now this player is going to, again, get into the lane. Everybody's got to collapse. Open three. Can't backpedal in transition ever. Look at these players backpedaling. You have to sprint, sprint, sprint. Okay, so now this player, if he sprints back, is he able to sh easily able to shift over on this pass? But you're backpedaling back, so now look, now this player gets behind you, and it's a two-shot foul. Okay, you got to dig in the post here. This player right here, stop it. What are you doing, okay? Right now, you should be halfway, <laughs> look how halfway between the post and your man, which is nothing. So now I can dig and recover. How does this player not dig at all, okay? So now JaVale McGee's going to end up getting... Uh, going to the line, shooting two, because you don't want to dig when he's way out there. You have to start battling for real estate. As soon as this player crosses the three-point line, you got to initiate contact. you got to battle for real estate. You know how I know that never happened, even though I, they don't show it? Is look, look where this player is right now. That That's because you didn't initiate contact, battle for real estate, out at the three-point line. 
or near the three-point line. Could you just let this player get to wherever he wants, and now he's got you perfectly sealed. And now look, now they throw it down low. He's catching this ball way too low, and look, it's just going to be one-on-one, and he's going to bully you, and it's going to turn into a turnaround jumper. Stop running drop coverage with Chris Paul. He is an artist at this jump shot, okay? So you've got to hedge. Stop. Up. Okay? Up. Push this guard out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help here, but I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you're just going to let Chris Paul do his thing again. Again, with the stupid drop coverage, you're creating a two-on-one for no reason. So that's obviously going to lead to an easy two. All right, so let's back it up. Let's look how we can get a stop. We're going to hedge. We're going to push this guard out. Backside help right here. Now, this player can sink down and occupy these Suns players two passes away. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip um, right here, okay, I can recover, bump this backside defender back. But I'm not creating two-on-ones like this. What, what do you think is going to happen when you do this? Dribble handoff, you don't go over a dribble handoff, stop. This player just takes a step back, lets you through, and you meet Chris Paul on the other side. When you go over a dribble handoff, this is what happens. Two-shot foul for Phoenix. Okay, so this is an interesting play. So right now this player looks like he's going to set a flare screen. So all this player needs to be doing is underneath his man showing his hands. That Suns are in the bonus. Okay, so all you're doing is yelling out flare, flare, flare. So this player's over the top, and you're just staying underneath your man, but you have to show your hands. The Suns are in the bonus. Okay, look what happens. Do we get to see C.J. McCollum's hands? Nope. And that's a cheap foul, and Phoenix goes to the line shooting two. Cannot run drop coverage on a ball screen set at the free throw line. Okay, there's not much of anything you can do other than switch. Okay, this player's got to get up, and this player's got to get under. Okay, it's the reality. Ball screen set too low. You got to switch. Okay, you're trying to run drop coverage, and it's just like, what What do you think's going to happen? Don't lean towards the screen. Stop. Make this player use the screen. You lean towards the screen. Look at how this player is leaning towards the screen. So now it's a ball screen refusal. This big has to come and help. So now there's nobody to guard DeAndre Ayton. And just a pass right over there. He's catching it too low. Easy little turnaround jumper. Stop leaning towards the screen, okay? Make this player use the screen. Look at this again. See you leaning towards the screen. So it's a ball screen refusal. Now everyone's got to collapse at the rim, and it's going to lead to an easy layup. Pelicans are icing this ball screen here. So if you're icing this ball screen, this player, stop. What's this player doing? Okay, the backside help is right here. This player needs to stay in the corner. This big can't, you got to, the point of icing a ball screen is to keep this player to the sideline. This player's got to make sure this player stays towards the sideline. We have backside help right here. Well, this player's just standing, this is players in no man's land. Okay, so now it's going to be a kick to the corner, uh, rip and go drive. Now that gets the defense all out of sync and a wide open three. Stupid drop coverage, so you give up a wide open three. Nice ball screen defense. Okay, so let's take a look. Please get up, hedge, get this guard out of here. The first, the second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip. I can recover. In the meantime, backside help just needs to creep up a little bit. But again, I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways quickly. But instead, nah, let's give up a wide open three for no reason. So again, you're in your stupid drop coverage. So what does that mean? That means this guard gets in the lane. This player's got to drop and backside help. Jay Crowder's going to be wide open, and that skip pass couldn't be easier to be made. So it's going to end up being... Uh, an and one for Phoenix. So let's take a look, back it up. Look how much different this is if you hedge. Okay, now you're pushing this guard out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off this player's hip, which is just pushing him further away uh, from the play. I can recover. In the meantime, this backside defender has to slide here one step. And then I'm, I'm literally going to be able to be able to bump you back. But instead, you're giving up the lane, so now Chris Paul can keep his dribble alive longer, and it's just in the lane and one. I don't understand if this is drop coverage, what this is, because if you're running drop coverage, this player fights over the top. He doesn't go underneath. I mean, if you're switching this ball screen, this player can't be sagging right here. He needs to be up and ready to guard. So it all results in a wide-open Chris Paul jumper. Um, again, so what would I be doing here? Uh, right now I would be, of course, hedging this stop, 
get Chris Paul out of here, push him out this way. This player needs to fight over the top so he can't split through. Okay, the second Chris Paul hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, which just pushes him further away from the play. Uh, I can recover. In the meantime, I do need backside help here. Okay, but again, I'm going to be able to bounce you back quickly. Um, but, you know, I don't know what that is. I just don't know what that is. Again, you're in drop coverage, so again, you're giving Chris Paul the lane, and I mean, how easy do you want to make this for him? So again, why are you not hedging? The sideline is right here. This player's got to get over the top so he can't split through, but again, hedge. The second Chris Paul picks up his dribble, hesitates, brings his dribble back, which is going to be in like a fraction of a second with the sideline right there, I can recover. In the meantime, backside help is right here, but I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But instead, nah, let's give Chris Paul essentially a layup. Cross matched in transition all the time. Stop. Right here, this player's got to guard DeAndre, and you just get to bodies. Okay, this player can go here, this player can go here, whatever. But you got to be jamming DeAndre now, initiating contact, battling for real estate. Brandon Ingram does none of those things. Look at DeAndre Ayton's now going to catch this way too low, okay? And now it's just going to be an easy turnaround jumper. Again, you're in idiot drop coverage. So look at this. Pocket pass through, draw help. This player's wide open for a layup, okay? So please stop running this, okay? Up. Push this guard out. Now I can have backside help here, but the second Chris Paul hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, okay, I can recover. By the way, if Chris Paul wants to make a skip pass here, there's enough air time on the pass for me to get, get out anyways. But again, you know, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly, all right? But instead, again, drop coverage, give the Suns numbers. I mean, how easy? More drop coverage. How funny is this? You're just going to let Chris Paul get right to his spot and make it so easy for him. Unbelievable. So, again, you got to hedge. You got to get up. You got to push Chris Paul out. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than keep attacking off this big hip, which pushes him further away from the play. I can recover in the meantime. Backside help steps up here, but I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly, anyways. But nope, you're just going to give Chris Paul his patented jump shot without any work whatsoever. Down screen, come on, stop. Right here, you got to get attached and show. This player can't curl. He's got to go out a little bit so this chase can happen. But look, you don't show, so look at this player. Curl right off it into the lane layup. Unbelievable, more drop coverage. Chris Paul can just get right to his spot. Just make it so easy for him, please. Okay, so again, we're hedging. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm up. I'm pushing Chris Paul out. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. Uh, does anything other than attack off this big's hip, which is not going to be for long because the sideline's right there. I can recover in the meantime. I do need backside help here, but if Chris Paul wants to throw a skip pass all the way here, I can re I can recover because there's enough air time on that pass. Okay, but again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But pff, just give Chris Paul this patented jumper over and over and over again. This is literally unbelievable. Again, you're in drop coverage, and it's now it's a wide open three for Chris Paul. So look if we hedge, stop. This player now is going over right here, okay, so he can't split through. And then this big right here is hedging. We're pushing Chris Paul this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this player's hip, which just pushes him further away from the play. I can recover. In the meantime, backside help is needed right here. But again, if Chris Paul wants to make a skip pass here, the air time on that pass I can easily recover. Okay, but again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, nah, let's just give Chris Paul a wide open three. This is like straight out of a comedy movie. Again, you're giving Chris Paul a wide open jump shot where he loves to shoot. Okay, this is embarrassing. Stop running this defense. Up. Push Chris Paul out. Okay, the second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off this big hip. Okay, I can recover. By the way, the backside help is literally uh, waiting right here. Okay, but I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways quickly. But instead, nope, let's let Chris Paul continue and continue and continue to get to this wide open spot that he loved. So the Pelicans finally try and hedge a ball screen. Thank God. But of course, they don't do it right. Okay, first of all, if you're hedging a ball screen, this player's got to get up and back, start to creep up and backside help. Okay, that has to happen. Backside help is a non-negotiable when you hedge. And again, look at this. As soon as Chris Paul hesitates, right there, 
He just hesitated. I can recover back, and this backside defender can bump back. But again, this player st- now this player can guard Chris Paul one on one. He just hesitated. But instead, this big's going to stay too long. Okay, and now DeAndre Ayton's got it. The Suns have numbers. Open catch and shoot three. Going under, you got to jam the screener. Stop right here. I need to be up and jamming the screener, showing my hands if you're going under. Because now it's a much smoother route underneath. See, look at this. You're going to go under, but this player, look at how much difficult that route is underneath. So now that player's on the other side, and it's going to lead to an open jumper. Don't guard like this off a switch ever. Okay, stop. If you're switching onto Devin Booker, you're underneath. Because now I can battle for real estate. Initiate contact. Look at this. Look how you're guarding. Your back is to the sideline. So now Devin Booker can get, look at this. Look how low Devin Booker's getting. He's catching the ball right where he wants to. It's going to be one dribble, okay, and an open jumper. Again, you're in drop coverage, and again, it's a massive failure. You're just just giving Devin Booker the lane, and it's a layup. That's unbelievable that your ball screen defense. All right, get up, push Devin Booker out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, which pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. By the way, the backside help is literally has to move one step to be in backside help, and I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways. But nope. You're just going to give Devin Booker essentially a layup. Larry Nance Jr., sprint, 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 sprint back. This gamble is horrendous. Look at this gamble. Oh, my God. Just sprint back. Okay, you're not sprint. But instead, you're jogging, then stopping to gamble. So now it's a three on two. And now the Suns get right to the rim. Uh, And it's a two-shot foul. Don't switch over the top of a ball screen. Stop. You're getting screened. You're underneath the screener. When you switch over the top of the screener like this, look. Now this happens. And you're in drop coverage. You're giving Devin Booker an open jumper. So naturally, it's an easy two. So let's take a look. Again, we can head. We want to get Devin. We don't want to give Devin Booker open looks. He's first team all NBA. Let's hedge. Let's get him out of here. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, which pushes him further away from the play, can recover. In the meantime, the backside help is literally standing right there. Okay, and I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways, but nope. Let's just give Devin Booker wide open jump shots. Dribble handoff. You got to take a step back. Stop. This player's got to take a step back. Let this player through. You cannot go over the top of a dribble handoff or this happens. Now two people have to converge on the ball. There's no one there to box out. Aiden, easy to. Okay. I mean, right here, you just got to do a better job of getting through these screens. Stop. I mean, look at the space here. Stop it. Okay. So just go right through. There is no, DeAndre Aiden isn't setting a screen. So all you got to do, you're walking into a screen. Just go through. But instead, again, you walk into a screen, so now this player gets to the rim, draws help, easy eight and floater. Just elementary, you don't box out facing your man. You got to turn your hips, get your butt into him, get low, get him out of here. When you box out facing your man like this, this player is just going to easily get around you. Easy offensive rebound and layup. Just get back to bodies in transition. Cross matches happen. You throw matchups out the window. This player's got to get to this body right here, and someone needs to communicate it. But nope, getting back to a random spot on the floor. Wide open three. Right now, this needs to be communicated. Okay, this player right here has got to take Aiden. You got to go here. Okay, because Aiden, you have got to initiate contact as he's crossing the three-point line battle for real estate. He cannot, he has to earn every inch on that floor from the three-point line and in. But instead, you're just letting Aiton go wherever he wants to, and now he's catching this ball inside the block, and it's over. It's a layup. Where is this player going? You stay underneath your man when he's setting this screen. Why? Where is this player going? Look at this. You're out here. The screen is here. So now there's nobody to guard the screen, and it's an open jumper. Same thing, drop coverage, just give Chris Paul the exact spot he wants to on the floor. I mean, he is an artist at that, and you're making it so easy for him to get there. So let's hedge, let's push Chris Paul out. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip. Okay, I can recover. Again, backside help is literally right here. So I can easily recover and bounce you back, but instead you're going to give Chris Paul the lane, And a shot that he's made millions of times in his career just make it easy as 
heck for him to get to and make it again. All right, so you're dropping the big higher, but still, this big is sticking around too long. Let's take a look when Devin Booker pulls his dribble back. He just hesitated right there. So now this player can get over the top and guard one-on-one, and you can recover back. But you're going to stick around too long, and now DeAndre Ayton's got it right there, and now that's the defense has to collapse, and it leads to an easy little shot at the rim. There it is, your stupid drop coverage. You just cre- you're creating a two-on-one for no reason. So obviously this is going to result in an alley-oop. Okay, so again, let's get out of this stupid ball screen defense. Let's get up here, all right? Let's push Chris Paul out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. In the meantime, I have backside help right here, okay? But I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. Instead, you're just willy-nilly giving up two-on-ones, and it's an alley-oop for Phoenix. Is this player doing, you stay level to your man. Why is this player creeping up here? Look at this. Now you're not level to your man. So now you're not going to get to your man. So it's a wide open three. Don't lean towards the screen. Make Chris Paul use this screen. When you start leaning towards the screen like this, look at how he's leaning. Okay, so now Chris Paul is going to blow right by you. Get to the rim, two-shot foul. So this is a 1-4 flat iso. These are very interesting. Now, first of all, the, the Pelicans do want to double here. See how the Suns are flattening out the floor right here? Okay, so this player is coming to double, so you obviously have to send Chris Paul into that double team. Okay, now, this player's got to get down, all right? he if On a drive and kick, if the ball goes here, this player just rotates here. This player immediately flies down here, okay? Um, if this player cuts... Okay, into the paint, this player can't go that far. So this player's got to slide in, and this player's got to slide down. And then if the ball gets kicked here, he slides back up. This player moves back here. Okay, Um, so, but the problem is you don't send Chris Paul to this double team. You just let him go one-on-one for absolutely no reason, and it turns into an open jumper.